Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. In the very near future, you are going to be using your desktop or laptop computer. You're going to be surfing the internet. You're going to visit your favorite site and you're going to get a pop-up that looks something like this. It's going to say, do you want to install our app? And at that point, you're going to be a little bit confused because you're going to go, hang on a minute. I thought that apps were kind of a smartphone thing. Like you can't actually install an Android app on Windows 10, right? So why is it asking me to install an app? Well, the reason it's going to be asking you this is because it's going to want to install what's called a progressive web app for desktop, or more generically, a progressive web app. Now, these have been around for a little while for smartphones, but Google especially is recently bringing them to the desktop, which means they're going to run on any device that has the Chrome web browser installed. So, okay, in the past, the short version is basically you design a website, it does something cool, then all your iPhone users said, hey, we want an app for your site. So you do all this work and spend all this time and energy creating an iPhone app. And when you were done, just as you were catching your breath, your Android users said, hey, make an Android app too, because we want our own app. And so then you'd expend all this time and energy to make a third version of your application, your website, and finally everyone was happy. So it required a lot of time and a lot of energy, and there was a lot of duplicated work in different programming languages and with Google's infrastructure and with Apple's development kit and like it's very difficult for developers and that's why a lot of your favorite websites simply don't have apps for your smartphone because it's just a lot of extra work. Now progressive web apps are a little bit different because they are literally a website that's taken and encapsulated inside a window. So it's basically a website that's inside a window that looks like a native application like say Microsoft Word but it's not. Now that's probably a little bit confusing, so let's just take a look at what one of these things, these PWAs, actually look like in practice. So this is a simple progressive web app demo page, and the way it works is you have a number and you can click request data and type a different number in, and it's just a very simple web application. But the point here is that this is, it's a URL, it's a website. It's an interactive website, but it's basically just a website. Now to install it as a progressive web app, you come up here, and you say install progressive web app demo. You get the prompt, you click install, and you'll notice in addition to having this little icon over here, the website has now moved to its own little window here, which is pretty cool. And you'll notice that if I close the progressive web app and I close Chrome, I can come over here, double click the PWA icon, and boom, I don't need to have Chrome running, even though this web page is actually Chrome running in a Windows 10 window, Chrome itself doesn't need to be running. And that's basically what a progressive web app is. Now to uninstall it, you'd think that because I have an icon here and it looks like a normal app, you'd think you could just go into control panel, add remove programs or whatever, and you'd see the app listed, but in fact you won't. In order to uninstall a progressive web app, you come up here, you say uninstall progressive web app demo, clear the data, remove, and you'll notice, poof, it's gone. And there you have it. So that's it. That's what a progressive web app is, and that's how it works. Now, you'll notice that when I started it, it started very quickly. And the reason for that is because it is just a normal website, but it has a kind of special version of JavaScript uh, called a service worker. Now, real quickly, uh, websites are built of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML is the structure of the page. CSS is the style of the page, colors and font and alignment and that sort of thing. And JavaScript is code that's included by a website to actually do all the cool stuff. Uh, JavaScript is what makes Google Maps work. JavaScript is what makes the YouTube video player work. JavaScript is what makes pretty much everything fancy and interactive happen on websites. But there's this new type of thing called a service worker, and it's also powered by JavaScript. But how it actually works is, instead of the JavaScript running inside a web page, so to speak, a service worker actually runs kind of off to the side in the background. And it's kind of a special type of JavaScript code because it doesn't have access to certain things, and it's limited to the, the types of things that it can do. One of the things that it can do is send push notifications. If you've gone to, say, your favorite news site, and they say, do you want to allow notifications, you click allow, and you'll notice that even after you close your favorite news site, even though it's not open in a tab, you're still getting notifications. That actually works because of service workers. There's a chunk of code that your favorite news site gives to you, and it runs in the background in your browser, and that's what allows you to receive those web push notifications. Similarly, service workers are used by PWAs, 
for things like caching and automatic updating. So what that means is the Progressive Web App will uh, automatically download a chunk of the website and keep it cached and keep it updated for you. So for example, you go to your, your one of your favorite restaurants, it's a Mexican restaurant, let's say, and you can order online on their website. Well, in the future, they may have a Progressive Web App. And what will happen is you'll say, yes, install Mexican Restaurant Progressive Web App. It will actually install the app to your phone or your tablet or your laptop or your desktop. And it will actually even work offline. Because what happens is when it installs it, the Progressive Web App, the JavaScript service worker part of it, is going to go out there and it's going to grab the entire menu off the website and cache it on your device so that you have an instant on. The minute you double-click the PWA icon, poof, it pops up. And even if you don't have a network connection, you'll be able to mosey around and like pick what you want for dinner and that sort of thing. And then if your payment method is on file, you'll say, yes, place my order. And the Progressive Web App might say, ah, I see you're not online. Would you like me to place the order when you reconnect to the network? And you'll say, sure. And then later, when your phone reconnects to the network, your order is transmitted, boom, you receive a push notification saying your order will be ready in 30 minutes. The other cool thing about service workers in PWAs is they'll also keep them up to date automatically. So there will be no more like go to the Google Play Store and like check for updates and yes, update all and then wait for it to download. Because PWAs are literally a web page encapsulated in a normal window, they update the same way that websites do. So for example, again, say you go to your favorite news site and they release some new features. Well, how did you, how did you upgrade to the new features? All you did is just click the refresh button and then your browser downloads the the new page with the new functionality and that's it. Well, with progressive web apps, they work the same except even fancier than that because PWAs will use service workers to download updated chunks of the website automatically and transparently to you in the background. And all you have to do to update is close the progressive web app and restart it and poof, it's all ready to go. Now there are some other benefits, and the, the big benefit is developers won't have to make three or four different versions of their app. They can make a website, they can do a little bit of extra work and turn it into a PWA. Obviously the second benefit is that you'll be able to run the same app on every single device. So there'll be no more the website version and the iPhone version and the Android version. Because these are literally websites or chunks of websites running in a, in a window on your device, you get the exact same experience. So if there's an app that you like from this particular website, you can install that same app on all your devices and it will literally be exactly the same code running on all of your devices. So that's pretty nifty. Finally, uh, security and privacy will actually be pretty good for progressive web apps. Initially, uh, PWAs, they don't have access quite yet to all the fancy things that native apps can do, but they have access to most everything they need. And for the few things they don't have yet uh, in the future, there are going to be improvements to JavaScript, which means your PWAs will be just as fancy as native apps. But it's worth noting there that most apps that you install, they don't actually need access to all the stuff that you usually give them access to. For example, you install a simple calculator app and it's asking you for access to like your whole contact list and uh, you know, I need to make phone calls, I need to send text messages, I need access to the camera. And you're sitting there going, it's just a camera app, what's going on here? Well, with progressive web apps, that will pretty much be a thing of the past. So uh, it's better for privacy, it's better for security, uh, you get instant on, you get automatic updates, and most importantly, you get essentially, the progressive web app is essentially one app to rule them all. It's exactly the same functionality, exactly the same look and feel. It's literally the exact same app on any device you install it on. As I said, this is going to be initially kind of a Google thing. Google's Chrome browser is going to be the first to fully support desktop web apps, but that will be followed quickly by, say, Mozilla Firefox and Microsoft Edge and everybody else, Safari. Um, so it may take a little bit of time, but you're going to see these things coming up more and more frequently. And now you know what the heck they are and how great they are. So there you have it. That's what a progressive web app is. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.